Hey everyone, back at my LCS with Kurt Plowman. Hello. And he called me up in the middle of the night. If you all remember about a year ago, <laughs> I did this. Bought a few collections. Well, not uh, us, he did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, last two days I bought four collections and it's been, it was uh, literally five Box. minutes after we opened Box. the doors, people coming in and just carrying in boxes after boxes after boxes. Sometimes it takes us four or five hours to go through the collection because we don't want to the, the seller to miss anything and we don't want to miss anything and if they don't know what they have oh. it takes time to go through and get stuff you get you know go through it all sort it out organize it and we finally got our ases yep and we'll be right back hey everyone silver Steeler here and winning image photography so here we are. What is it? Uh, going on 1130, almost midnight. Call it my midnight run to my LCS number two. So what are we buying? Well, you've all been hearing my ASC Monster Box videos, and occasionally I'll sit there and throw in my LCS. Still owes me a two big eagles. And guess what? The two big eagles have arrived. And I'm going to find out what date we got on these things. Are they all the same, you think? Mm -hmm, they are. I don't know yet. Let them all be 1996s. Ah, they're not. They're 2013s. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're 2013s. Beautiful. So tube number 21. Only four to go, Kurt. Well, you know, we'll get them in for you whenever you're ready. Oh, you know. You know it. I'm ready. I'm ready to end that monster box and take my collection in a... Well, I don't know if it's a different direction, but more of the other direction. Yeah, maybe numismatics instead of just silver. Right. Or, you know, maybe you'll go for silver in a different light. Maybe you'll and, become the king of constitutional or something. I, no, we've no, got a king that. of we've got a king of constitutional out there in YouTube land. His name is Talking Bullion. Ah, it's funny yeah. you should say that, but <laughs> this dude buys constitutional silver like you wouldn't believe. Oh my gosh. Bought this for Steve Rice. I got one of these. We've actually already made a video for it. I'm not sure if we released it or not. I don't think we have. But we have this pre-shot, pretty cool General MacArthur. Steve Rice is getting that. And he also wanted us to find a, a stone mountain. We found a cleaned one, AU Detail, by PCGS. So that is going to Steve Rice as well. What do you want? You wanted twenty two fifty for this one, which is yeah. a great price, even if it is clean. And you wanted it has less than the cost of the grading, right? Nineteen bucks for this one, and you say this is seventy five percent silver, made by San Francisco in nineteen forty seven. Yeah, according to uh, it's interesting. The, according to Whitman, it's got uh, uh, <coughs> 0. 0.5792 ounces of silver, or ten dollars and forty seven cents today. So right, just in silver alone. Okay, so now before we jump too crazy hmm. and we get start playing with these collections, last time you were here, you got the uh, unfortunate, maybe and somewhat fun task of watching me buy a collection, and there was a specific coin that I believe you mentioned oh. you needed for your set. A typeset. Yes, and, yes. And I told you that I particularly wanted that particular year because it was a little bit better and a little bit different than the one that I had in my one of my typesets that I wanted to replace, and uh, at the time. You had said you really, really wanted one, and I told you that I would let you buy one, but you could have the one out of my other type set so that I could swap them out. So I have in my hand an 1829 half cent. 1829 half 1829 cent. 1829 medium letter half cent. That might become my oldest coin in my collection. Well, we made a deal. You could buy that one for what I paid for the other one. Do you remember what I paid for the other one? Two dollars? No. <laughs> no. 7,500 there. I like that number better. No. I'll have to get this under a scope to bring it out. I don't think it's showing up in the camera too well. Okay. Well, you can take out that. I mean, I put it in that holder for you. No, no, that's fine. I can see it better with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. I have to put yep. it underneath a loop. You say, what year is this? That one's 1829 medium letter. 1829 so, medium letter. Okay, yep. so. So the, I, bo the book on that is anywhere from 50 up. Yeah. And uh, I believe I paid Margaret 30 for the other one. So. You're going to give that to me for 30 That's what I said. I told you you could have it for what I paid for the other one because all I did was swap it out with my typeset. So it doesn't cost me anything to switch it out, and I got an improved typeset. So my profit is the improvement in my typeset. There you go. Well, that's a heck of a deal on that coin, right? I mean... Well, here you go. Just like always, you know, what do I always tell you? Make sure you get the book out. 1829, 
So 1829 large letters, $30, is the crappy one. Oh, I say crappy. I shouldn't say that, should I? And for an AG3, which this is well beyond an AG3, uh, is $30. And then 1829 is 55 And like I said, I'll let you have that one for 30 bucks, which is what I paid Margaret for the other one, which was just a little bit better condition. But, uh, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, there's a minor possibility that puppy might come back and be graded as an F12 or better, which puts it at a well over 100 bucks according to Gray Sheet now. For some silly reason, I like you, so there you go. I thought <laughs> you have what, I, what I paid for. It. You know, so does Winning Image. For some reason, she likes me as well. I haven't figured it out yet, but whatever I'm doing, just keep doing it. You know, look up the rule of three-eighths, and you'll figure it out. It must be all the silver I've been buying lately. Oh, That's that really, uh, probably. Oh, okay. That uh -uh. Could be the... You weren't buying silver when we got together. Did you get any gold? Uh, we got some gold jewelry. Jewelry. Uh, yeah, we didn't buy any gold coins yet, but I have a gentleman coming in later this weekend with uh, 10 ounces to sell, so... Oh. We have an appointment for this weekend, and unfortunately... Do you know what they are? Are they one-tenth? They're, they're just... all half-ouncers. They're all half-ouncers. They're all gold eagle half-ouncers, sir. And, Those uh, premiums are starting to drop on the online market right now, finally starting to come back down a little bit. Yes. They're more reasonable. They're affordable right now. Um, well, the one ounce is obviously the premiums are far less. Yeah. You get into those one-tenth right now, and they're still wanting 30 40 almost $50 markup yeah. on the premiums on it's those. Pretty, it's pretty average to see them selling for 180 190 in the market when the gold's at 17 and change today. Right. So you're, you know, you're $20, $30 a coin. At, at, so let's say it was seventeen twenty five. And you're seeing a tenth ouncer at 190 bucks. Uh -huh. You know that's that's not terrible premium, but if you multiply it out times ten, right. you're looking at you know was that somebody with a calculator out there in, in Facebook land will do the math, but it's a couple hundred bucks approximately. So it adds up. But uh, Is yeah, that, we, that's a, I don't know which one. I mean, we need um. This is a half dollar one. We've got what is this one? A seated Liberty. Yeah, but what is the, what year is it? 1877. Does it have a motto? That would be on the reverse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it does. Hold on. And I can't see the one they have in their hands to tell you. Which uh, one. Whoa, no, wait. That would be no motto, or is it on that little ribbon above the I eagle? Can't. Yeah, it's on the ribbon. And it does have it. It's just very faint. Yeah. So, and this one is the uh, 1877S. So no no rays on that one. No rays or arrows. But uh, yeah. 1877S. I don't know. As you know, know my the numbers that are on the back are just whatever gray sheet calls that. It's not what our price. A is. Lafayette dollar. Mm -hmm. 1900 I saw Lafayette. That one. Well, it looks like it's got a uh, whatever price it has. I know that wouldn't be my good price, but it's going to be an expensive one. Yeah, yeah. The, the book on those started at, you know, 250 270 and go up. Every grade jumps up almost 100 bucks on those guys on average. Uh, I can grab the gray sheet here and take a look. But, yeah, they're they're a significant type dollar. That uh, Is that Andrew Jackson on it? No, that would be General La Lafayette. General Lafayette. Oh, there you go. Well, let's see. Harris. Oh, All right. Well, yeah. well and it, but it is, it, a United, it is a United States silver commemorative $1. Hmm. From 1900. So a 90% or two, more yeah. likely, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, I have to look back here because I... Hmm. Yeah. I've never... I've, I've heard of this before. I just don't think I've ever seen one or held one before. They don't come around a whole lot, even in even in bad condition. You just don't see them very often. Right. And that um, one is a little bit worn, but still a lot of, a lot of detail left on it. Yeah. What else are you coming up with that you're finding that you like? She says she wants it all. Oh, I bet she does. The only problem is uh, Silver Steeler doesn't have a, you know, I'm running out of the helicopter money. <laughs> oh, he's got some silver work tokens in here that are graded. Yep, some of those came in graded. We, you know, like I said, it's not, not very common anymore that I send a whole lot in to get graded. It's pretty rare unless I'm going to keep it for my set. So because by the time I tie it up to send it in and get it graded, you know, with the exception of like the... The Charlotte uh, Charlotte Quarter that you know, came across and that kind of stuff. Those are yeah. when we find those. I have I do have an 09s VDB off being graded right now that came in and a 16d and a 31s a 16d dime and a 31s penny. We did send those off to get graded. Yeah, the Charlotte Quarter is from the Charlotte Mint. Yep, Charlotte, Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah, he was telling us about that last time we visited. Yep. Which one is that? Is it here? 
No, it's no. off being graded. Ah, gotcha. And I have a buyer who's committed it, depending on the grade, he will buy it based on the grade for full gray sheet. So. You know, I have seen a lot of these things. A lot of these. Oh, yeah. Of these like this. That well, seems to be a you know, this, hand me that stack of those if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind. Are, are we still videoing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So here, I want to. She here. edited out my name, though. Okay. I, I apologize. <laughs> so okay. this is a really good chance. We get a lot of this stuff, and I'm, I want to. I want the YouTubers to see this. This is a good example for those of you who, a lot of you know silver. You've probably been following the channel and you love silver. But when you get into numismatics, you're going to find a lot of this kind of stuff out there in the world. These are things that have been put together by third-party companies. And, and I don't want to call companies out by their name, but you find them a lot of times in mail order catalogs or direct mailing or emails uh, or You'll get a free gift in the mail from something, and then, and then you say you like it, and then they'll start sending you a coin every month or whatever. This stuff is usually, I hate to say it, but we, we call this Timmy product. This is the kind of stuff that looks flashy. The container's worth more than the coins inside. Yeah, probably, yeah. It, it mean, is. All it that is. looks clad anyway. It is. It's all, yeah. and, and it doesn't, it, honestly, it doesn't matter. You can get some of this stuff where, they, where they've put them together. They've put these really cool-looking sets together. You know, we were talking earlier about Bradford Exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, another good one is uh, Franklin Mint. Um, you know, they put together some amazingly beautiful products. They manufacture absolutely awesome looking storage containers and devices and really cool ways to put your set together. The thing that most novice or young collectors miss is they get distracted by the fancy package and forget to look at what they're buying. And so they're buying the container, not the coin. That's in most cases. Uh, or they're paying such a high premium on the coin, you know, and, and a lot, I, I'm not, I am not in any way, shape, or form criticizing those businesses for their practices. I don't believe in attacking another person's ethics or anything like that. I do, however, want to caution new collectors and remind them that when you're buying something, and when I say new collector, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, nine years old or 90 years old, if you don't know what you're buying, you're new to the hobby. So when you see things like this, especially this kind of stuff, which is, I mean, this stuff is put out, this one happens to be put out by one of the most reputable uh, reference companies on the planet, which is Whitman, okay? This mm -hmm. little holder, now they don't sell you the coins like this. Whitman sells the holder by itself for about two bucks, right. okay? You then some collector puts their set together. This is intended for a collector to be able to store their type set of Westford series nickels in a little holder like this. It's intended for you to put it in your box in 35 or 40 years from now when you pull it back out and look at it, you'll remember it and it'll be worth something because the coins have appreciated over time. The problem is, is that there are companies out there, especially on Facebook and eBay and uh, uh, you know, a Craigslist and the, the television that have products like this, just like this, mm -hmm. that have put together what looks like a really cool set and then they put an exorbitant price on there, you know, say for example, ninety nine ninety five, and then they tell you there was only 227,000 minted out of the 400 million nickels that were minted this Limited year, whatever. Limited edition, sold out. Yeah. And they, they talk so fast and they talk so excited, they kind of sound like me. You know, or, or an auctioneer. Five hundred, ten, fifteen. Somebody give twenty, twenty, bid twenty-five. They get you hyped up in the excitement of buying the container that you forget that you're really buying uh, twenty-five cents worth of coins. You know, you can literally uh, go to any coin club and find uh, these coins in most cases in uncirculated tubes and buy them for two dollars a tube. Pull out the coin you want, place them in the holder, and for you know. Two dollars and twenty-five cents. Remember, I said the holder's about two bucks if you buy it from Whitman. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got you know twenty-five cents worth of face value there. Mm -hmm. You could you could put this together yourself and not pay somebody who's sitting behind a desk forty dollars an hour to, do, to put it together. And the other thing you have to remember is that a lot of times you want to re, you want to keep yourself a, a calm head when you're making a coin purchase. Let's say for example. You know, we talked a minute ago about uh, a cleaned coin. Let me... Mm -hmm. um, Here's one right here. Yeah, let me grab this. So let me... You see a coin like this, and I'm going to block the header off here for a second. But you see a coin like this, and the coin looks almost too clean for its age, almost too pretty. And when you start looking closely at the details, you notice that there's some things that are a little off on the coin. It's just, first for starters, it's way too clean. Um, the second thing is that you'll notice there's no none of the natural patina that should be on a circulated coin. And in fact, this one you can see where it's got some kind of line on it where it probably had tape or something there. And then you get excited about the coin. You think, oh, that must be an uncirculated coin. That's going to be one that's going to be worth, you know, $150, $160. I better snag it up. And some dealer or 
you know, collectors got this thing priced at uh, $75, $80. You think you're getting a great bargain. But the reality is this is a cleaned coin. This coin has someone has, has taken a product, and this one's been cleaned with a product, you know, like a, a dip, dip, uh, yeah. you know, dip or silveries or, or new tone or one of those products, and they've made the coin look flashy. And this is the second thing I want to caution our YouTubers out there in the world is if you branch out away from buying things based on their silver value, you know, at Silver Stealer, we love to look at the silver value of the coins as well as the numismatics. But when you slide a little bit away from a coin that's worth more than the silver, you know, even at 14 times face value, if that was the number you were paying today for half dollars at $7 a coin, which is a little bit over melt, you know, uh, this coin is going to be way over $14 no matter where you go. So, you know, $14 is the melt value on the junk silver. The next thing you know, you're looking at a coin that's worth two, three, four times that. And if somebody's polished it up, it could be a $100 coin if it weren't polished. So remember that don't let the flash, don't let the shine take away from what your common sense should tell you, which is look at the coin as a coin and never, ever buy the holder. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if it's PCGS, NGC, ANACS, or some company somewhere that made a really pretty container. You know, BCW, uh, companies so like... how many of these I found with 64 Kennedys in there? And you know what I do with them? You pop it out. Take pop it right out and tube it up. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, again, buy the coin, not the holder. The holders are beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of these are really good holders. For example, you know, like I said, this is, this is made by Whitman. And Whitman's not misleading anybody or trying to no. harm anybody. That's no. not Whitman's fault what somebody does with it. It's just like if you buy a crowbar... And its job is to pry things apart and help you get a tire off of your car when it's flat. It's doing its job. That's what it's meant to do. The crowbar manufacturer did it. If somebody uses it to smash a window or, or uses it to, to uh, uh, break into a property or uses it for, I don't know, uh, uh, lifting something off the ground, any of those uses for it are not the manufacturer's fault. So you don't want to blame the, the companies that manufacture And remember, we all love to hold our stuff in beautiful things. I mean, look, look at the tubes. We all love the United States Mint Treasury tubes. They're stackable. They're durable. I slightly do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's slightly do. Yeah. Tube number 21. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so remember out there in, in, in collector's world that as you venture out, you know, this is a great opportunity. We just talked a few minutes ago about you might start sliding toward numismatics or another way. Well, I have been, though. I mean, that, yeah. you've known that about me. I'm numismatic and I'm a stacker. And I fluctuate right. according to spot. Right. The spot starts going high, then I start attacking numismatics. Right. Because I don't fluctuate according to spot as much. Correct. Then spot starts to drop, and guess what? I'm back You're on back stacking again. Yeah. So I'll float back and forth. And well, I always have since my beginning of my the, journey. The wisest investors in the planet will tell you never to put all of your eggs in one basket. The more ways you're collecting and storing your wealth, the mm -hmm. more diversified and safe you are. And God forbid something should happen and the world reverts to a time when the only thing we have to trade is our silver you know, um, and those numismatics really aren't worth anything anymore. Well, I, they're worth basically the silver that they have in them. That I'm gonna, Which, ar I would argue with you there because to, to a collector like me, even if the world ends, yeah. there are some coins I won't part with. They can take my life before. Well, they I, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I get that. It's just that you know. But on the other no, hand, that's right. the whole reason why though I've diversified. I'm prepared for both. If that's the right. apocalypse happens. I've got my stacks of silver. I've got my mercury and rosy dimes to barter with the smallest amount of yes. silver that you can have because those well, are important. And when we when we slide these away, if you want to talk about it, I mean we're we we're quite heavily stacked right now. Oh yeah, ninety percent. No, we um, will. We'll, we'll, well, let, well, let's get into that then, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Um, I'm. You direct where we're going. Yeah, well, let's start off with the Benji book. Okay. Okay. That's just one. We already, I already broke up hard a few Benji books that were. Oh, you have? Really, oh, because yeah. I would, I They're mean, down in here. do you know if any of those dates were in there? You didn't I look. Have, you I just didn't. were popping them out. Yep. Because, I mean, to get a whole Benji one would be really cool. I mean, I can tell that. Well, at the end of the video, when we have time, we can go through and look for them. Right. I can tell that there's a couple cleaned. This one yeah. looks clean to me. This is literally how they came in. I, I said, no, 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 right. When, 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 you know, Silver Stacker mentioned he wanted to, or Silver Stealer mentioned he wanted to, See the half dollar books. I stopped popping books. Ah, yes. So I had already processed some of it, and we stopped popping. So how books. many of you popped the Benji books already? Uh, two or three. Two or three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we did have someone come in earlier today and buy. I mean, a Benjamin, so. I mean, if this were filled, what 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 would that book cost me? I mean, we're looking at what average circulated. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can't. My brain's not working here. Wait a minute. Nine, 
19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So there's 30 in there right now, not counting the five that we're missing, right? Right. So there'd be 35 in there. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, $17.50, $18 face value, right? 35 would be, uh, I'm not, don't have my calculator in front of me like I normally do. 17.50, 17.50. Yeah, 17.50. If there were 35 in there, that'd be 17.50 yeah, face value. 17.50 in face value. So, you know, um, melt value is about 13 and change right now. Uh, if I sold it to you, if I was nice and sold it to you at 10 times face value. <gasps> That'd be great. You know? I don't think anyone else on YouTube is getting anything at 10 times face right now. But Except for maybe I, talking bland. That's because some people like to invite you in at, at okay. midnight hours. <laughs> nice oh, well, you see, that's why we come here at this time at night, because you get the better prices. No. Did you order pizza um, this time? We no, should. I'm hungry. Well, <laughs> if he ordered last time it was Papa John's, and I had to call off work the next day because that wrecked me. I did not <laughs> like Papa John's. It wrecked me the next day. So I'm I'm not hungry. If you, by all means, you want a pizza, order a pizza for yourself. No, you're all right. I mean, because what? I, Papa got, John's is just right across the road over are, here, isn't it? Uh, there's Papa John's that way and Little Caesars that way, with both of them within spitting distance of here. Plus, we've got you know our our friendly neighborhood rallies that doesn't close until like two o'clock in the morning. The rallies ain't half bad. Yeah. Well, well so you'll there. sell this to me at 10 times face. It was 35 coins in there, so we're looking well, at... There's, 17, not, there's not 35 what? coins right now. There's 30 Seven, coins in there. Yeah, once there's 35, that's 1750. <laughs> that's 1750 times 10, so 175. that's 175. So, All right. Yeah, and, and you'll... and you'll and, dates, No, it. right, and you're working with me to try to see if I can't fill these last five holes here, sure. right? And a couple of those guys are, as you know, probably yeah. a little bit more money normally, but since I, I'm not doing any work, you're going to help me do the work, then that's serious. That's fine. You've got to, I, I, well, I take well, it you have a pile of Benjis in there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we don't. We don't have any. Uh, oh my gosh. We don't have any. Hold on. Let's get here. that in front of the camera. <laughs> you know the walking liberties. I'm probably going to pass on. Okay. Well, you said right pass, now. so I just. Stopped. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. There's this nice little pile of. Oh my gosh! Look how many dimes you got too. Good lord. Those are all the rosies, all silver. Mm -hmm. And all the quarters. Oh my gosh. There's a few. talking bullion would be totally in heaven right now. These all 68, 64s. Mm -hmm. I mean. No, these are the 40s. These must be all your yeah, 64s. Yeah, those are all, all 64s in that tray, and then that oh, one's nice. Benjamin Walker's mix. And there's a few dollars that came in the last two days. Oh, some coals. Yep. And winnings putting up the other. This is yeah. your more obscure dates, whatever. Well, Looks like we got it, some it, three just cent stuff that nickels was, in there. It was loose when it when these come when these collections come in. Sometimes they're literally just boxes of stuff, and we have to go through it all. And we try to encourage. People to make an appointment if they're going to do that, so that we have, we they can be here while we do all that. I don't ever like somebody to leave their collection just because I want them to be here while we go through it. We sure. can explain every step of the process. All right. Um, and sometimes they bring me in literally boxes of stuff that are just mixed up, and and you folks at home can't see it, but they brought these in in four locking boxes plus four cardboard boxes plus two bags. I could lift up uh, and get that in the shot if you want to show it real that's quick. That's up to you, but they, they, they came in. That's what they came in right, right there. there. Stack right there. Slightly behind them. That's what people brought in today and yeah. just left it for them. And uh, the, uh, well, no, they stayed. I, I encouraged them to stay. I asked them if they had time <laughs> to stay or if they wanted an appointment to come back later. And they know. Right. They and they were a very, very nice couple. They'd, uh, he has bought silver from me before, but uh, his mother passed a couple of years ago and they had a rough experience with another person who tried to help them sell their collection and they decided they didn't want to go that route anymore so they came and saw me and uh, they had a number in their mind of what they wanted for their collection mm -hmm. and um, the number that I offered them was nearly twice what they thought they were going to get because they based the number that they got off of what they got out of the other dealer Gotcha. And uh, so they were very, very happy with what I offered them. Um, my One of the gentlemen who works for me, you guys may have, may or may, I can't remember if you've seen him. I think he's walked past the video a few times. One of the guys who works for me. Between the two of out. us, it took three hours of us, the both of us working with them, three hours going through to get everything sorted wow. out. Because it came in in such a, uh -huh. I don't want to say hodgepodge, but she had a tendency of collecting things. For example, they were also, and what's not in the video, is she had over 100 mint sets of her own. That were all from the seven, you know, sixties, seventies, and eighties, uh, and she had, for example, the mint sets in one box, the boxes that match them in another, and they don't know, but somebody in the family threw away all of the cards that went with them. Oh. Yeah. So, but they remember seeing them; they just are pretty sure they got oh, thrown away. Yeah. But this is how the lady collected. Uh, a lot of these were in books. Some of them were in tubes. Some of them were actually in metal banks, which I encouraged them to take and sell at a, a mm. local uh, to another local dealer that deals in antiques, or to go to. Uh, 
take it to another uh, another dealer that might be interested in banks because we don't, I don't collect banks and I don't sell banks. But uh, a couple of them were really, really cool. They were actual cast iron banks that screwed together. In order to get the coins out, we had to unscrew them to get mm -hmm. the coins out of them. <laughs> My grandmother had those. Uh, uh, we had another really cool piece, which was the uh, another rocket ship savings bank that was all full of mercury dimes. Uh, mm. now I, they, they didn't want to take that with. Uh, I do have it here, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's just a little plastic rocket ship from the... My uh, probably 60s or 70s, right. but, but the lady had kept it full of mercury dimes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a tube. It has a little bottom of a rocket, a little point at the top, and rocket to save huh. or something like this. It's really quite cool. Well, what's my tab? Have you started one? You were starting I, one? It's uh, underneath, it's yeah, underneath the red book here. Uh, yeah. So what do you got on there so far? You got my two Steve Rice purchases. Yeah, and then I didn't write down your half cent. Half cent. And I... Which was uh, $30, right? There you is lost a pen right here. Oh, thank you so very I didn't know what I'd laid it down. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot? I also have these for you. And the purple ones are coming. Because, you know, our signature color is purple, but the company made a mistake. Oh, you got a pen for me? Yeah, we have for each of you. Nice. Got the dragon's horde coins and mm -hmm. pens there for each of you. Swag. Yeah. Well, we got some swag. You guys can't see it, but the new shirts are on. I the saw it behind me. I saw it behind <laughs> me, actually. I was wondering what it takes to get a free shirt here. How many, how many, uh, what, what size do you wear? Uh, two times, three times fits me better. Okay. Uh, there's probably one on the wall over there. Am so. I, am I getting free swag? I, I will, I will give you one free shirt. <laughs> well, what's the other one cost me? What it says uh, on there? No, I'll give you a little, I'll let you have them for what I paid for them. So I got $18 now. Is there the, one you said? Well, you know, yeah, I'll figure that out yeah, later. There let's, get, be. let's get, let's get, uh, let's. Yeah, yeah. Purple's our signature color. Mine, I'm underneath mine, a little dirty, but uh, I, I, I worked today all day here, and then we also had uh, an event. And so, yeah, you don't yeah. sleep. <laughs> you just don't. You, I, was we, we know this I was here till three thirty yesterday in the morning, and came right oh. back in. I've been here all day, so. So, thirty dollars on the half cent. Yep. And then we got one hundred and seventy-five on the Kennedy or the um, Franklin book. The Franklin book. Mm -hmm. And we still got to search out through these, the dates that we might be able to get. And if we don't, I'll just take a duplicate of something else and do okay. it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'll stay All even right. with you on that one. Okay. Whatever um, you want to do. She looks like she's piling up some Kennedy 64s here, which we've been also. You want me to grab a tube and you can, we can start putting them in there? Yeah, sure. Oh, absolutely. All That's right. what you've been wanting. I've been trying to go hardcore on Kennedy 64s for some reason. I don't know why. It's my latest fixation. I just, I like them because they usually hold the most silver content in them. They're not as worn, you know. Yeah. There's something just about getting that heavier piece of silver that I always like, which, look, dollars and halves will always be my two favorite just because of that reason. There's a few Benjis in here. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what we were saying. We were going to go through there and see if there's any of them that are missing from his book because I was just popping them out. We, we... The, the the lady and gentleman were trying toward the end when we got to the books to finish up and they and I told them I said I need to check all these for dates and she said you've been so generous with everything else just count them so well, well, <laughs> we shoot. stopped and just started counting that's why I'm not worrying about looking for premiums for you right. hey, look eventually um, I'm going to need to do something about my um, Liberty standing SLQs uh -huh. standing Liberty quarters uh -huh. uh, particularly that one year to where they had the mint mark on the front and uh, the no, the no stars or no nothing. Yeah. I don't know if that's part of the typeset or not that needs to have that different one in there. I don't think it is. Most of the type, it, it depends on who manufactured your typeset. So That would be something I know I'd be interested to have one of those just, okay. uh, you know, with the with the boob hanging out. Yeah. Well, that's mostly the reason why I want it. Right. <laughs> so, well, yeah, the, 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 exposed, the exposed breast is, is always popular with the guy. I mean the collectors. What? What do you want me to do? Where's the book? The book. Oh, it was she the was book. going to try to go through the book while we were playing. Um, what and happened to the book? Is it here now? No, these are both the Liberty ones. Did you take it and put it down there? No, I didn't Did take it. Did you anywhere. take it and put it down there? No. Well, I don't know. How, somehow we just lost the whole Franklin book. Did she mm, set that on top of it? Ah, see, see? It. winning is trying to hide the goodies. Oh, it's like. <sighs> well, she's going to go over there and do her little thing right now. You got me two tubes, I see. Well, you know, there you go. I don't have two of the stackers. I That's have, fine. I mean, if That's you want fine. two of these, I have two of these. Eventually, I'm going to have to get a guardhouse box, and I'm going to need them all in. Yeah. I don't know if that's in a camera shot or not. I'm going to need them all in this, because that's what fits the guard box. Right. Guard, 
yep. box. Yep, and these are, Kentucky. for those of you who don't know, these are specially made that you can get a little divider that locks these together and makes them into bricks. So they're ultra stable. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun. They're, they're good, uh, good holders. I'm also a fan of them because they are manufactured by CoinSafe here in the United States, unlike so many of the others that are made in other places. One full tube. Yeah. Then what are you selling those to me for? Hmm. What do you think is fair? I priced the last batch. Let's see if we can negotiate. And I don't. I don't feel like I'm getting. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, the ten times face is sounding excellent. All right. All right. You You're going to do ten times face? face? Just this one oh time. Oh my gosh. Well, that's on both tubes, right? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> or anything that I pick out. Well, I mean. Yeah. Well, not these I'm, guys. But yeah. No, no, no. Right. One, two, three. Yeah. Four, any of the, I'll let you have five, any of the ninety six, at ten. At seven, ten eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we're five short. I'm getting a full second of those, and I could just take. Yeah, you just Franklin's five. and Walkers. Yeah. Well, go for the go for the Benjis. She's over there still filling up. So if you've got if I'm you've not got filling anything up. five filling if you got five up. extras, he needs five extra Benjis. If you want to hand them to me, I'll hand them to him. Just the extra. Yeah, just give me five Benjis. They don't have anything to do with the book. And then just you're gonna have to keep five anyway, even if they're not right dates, just so that then that book is right for. What we're giving because he's already priced that book as a full book. We might not be able to get it, you know, but we got a scad of Benji's at home we can look through and possibly fill the rest of that book up. So I'm not worried about it. So, what uh, each one of these is costing? So, those are each a $10 tube. $100. Yep. $100 per tube. Man, he can't, he can't beat that right now. Let me put my little pile that we've been buying so far over there. And of course, she's got the book over there. Mm -hmm. So. What what dates are you looking for on them Benji, on those Benjis? Please forgive my French. I'm a little tired. Me? Yeah. What what dates are you looking for? Because there's some Benjis in this tray. 1948, 1953 and 53s, 1956 and monster fed. <laughs> I can't tell you. I I didn't know. You know what, too? The funniest thing, and I think me, you and I have had this conversation before on camera, and how I was so like... Now, I'm still not into graded American Eagles. I'm just not. But I didn't think I was ever going to do a monster box or ever go down that road because mm -hmm. I wasn't really in love with the American Silver Eagle. You know what's happened over the last two years? I now love that coin. Well, do you remember me telling you at one point in time that the most important thing that a collector can collect is that which brings him joy when he looks at it? Yeah. It's way more important to do that than, uh, than it is to collect something just because you're collecting it. Um, you know, stacking silver is a little bit outside the realm because you don't have necessarily have to like the pattern, but right. here at Winning, I didn't check all these dates. I just started plucking. Check those. Well, I think what it was, I mean, my order now is Morgan's first, Peace Dollar second, and the ASC's now third. Then buy the Walking Liberty and then Mercury Dime. But you made a little a little chunk in your Morgan collection with those last two beautiful pieces. Eleven. Yeah, Eleven. I'm just, I'm just telling you, you know, if you accidentally leave those, happy birthday to me. I am now. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, I haven't even showed that one. They're already packed. They're already packed. Yeah, I didn't want to meet you. You packed my CC proof likes? Where are they packed? I'm right here again. Oh, all right. Just keep them, then I'll show that's them not, off in another not video. That's the right black pouch. That's my back pouch. I, mean, I think people out there already know with the last 1878 CC, I've been going after proof-like CCs lately. Man, they're they're not cheap. No, but that you're you're buying a, a high value, high quality coin that isn't going to isn't going to depreciate. It's not affected by silver value. Yum yum yum. That's that 1883 CC. We had to take this here and show it to him. This is raw. It's proof like it's going to be featured in its own video and the Morgan Dollar video that we're going to have coming out soon. So I won't bore you forever on those. The, these two we did not pick up from Kurt, but nope. Kurt very much would like to have them. And uh, just, you know. No. Yeah, well, when, it, when, when the day comes <laughs> the and he, day finds comes. A, he finds two prettier ones that he wants for his and he'll sell me those. Hey, you never know. You never know. You can repack those away. I need you don't a loop. Actually, she needs a loop. There we go. Because the mint mark on a teeny tiny little... Uh-huh. Above the bell. Uh-huh. I know where it is. It's just small. All right, look. I know pretty sure that we don't have a 
walking or seating Liberty Quarter, and I believe this is one of them right here. No, there should be three of them in that tray. Uh, there is. And I'm going to be honest with you on this one. I don't know key dates in any of these things. Ooh, one of these has arrows on either side. Now, one's arrows and rays and one's without arrows. Which one's worth more? Uh, those, it, it depends on the year. Some years the arrows are more, some years the arrows are less. Oh, so, I didn't know it was going to be that. Uh, yeah, it's not, not quite as simple. Cut and dry. Yeah, it's not uh, It's not like you can just say it like in the dimes, the 16D or the 09 SVDB in the pennies or the, you know, it's uh, literally when you get into looking at those Seated Liberties that oh, they, they, they did such a variance on there's so many different varietals of it. Well, somebody must know the pricing on some of these. Let me quick show these off. Because this one on the back has, you know, not the silver steeler price, but it has 125, 125 on that one. Yeah, it's, again, it's, it's it's a little high, but that we we put on there what the book price is, so that when customers come in and look at these things, they can see approximately what the you know, the price guide price would be, not what we're selling. The right. For. If you ever come into our shop here at Dragon's Sword Coins and Gaming. The price tags that are on the coins are intended to show you what is in the book value, not what we sell mm -hmm. the coin. We always sell below that number. We did that because so many times when you walk into a place that has, especially like these guys, you know, a lot of a lot of different coin dealers have coins like this that have got price tags on them already. And, uh, let me see, I got and of course, their little numbering system in the right-hand corner or wherever they want yeah. to put it to let themselves know what they paid for the coin. Right. Which, by the way, when we went to Ohio... And after you had told me that that's what those little mm -hmm. letters and stuff on there, everyone's got their own little code deciphering on there. Right. Not one coin dealer is the same, blah, blah, blah. While we were in Dayton, Ohio, because we were getting ready to go to that Wright Air Force Base Museum. Mm -hmm. Wright Patterson Air Force. Wright Patterson Air Force mm -hmm. Base. We had stopped in Dayton at a coin shop. And while we were in there, we had been in there long enough that I started breaking down his code. Yep. On the side. And... So he, he took a little bit of offense at that. Yeah, they he don't want like you the, to know. He didn't like the fact that I was starting to know what he was paying for his coins. Well, just to, here's, a, here's a little trick for you to see. This one came in from another collector, mm -hmm. okay? So this collector's put on here what it is, you know, Anderson, Indiana, trade token, blah, blah, blah. Then on the back, he's got this magic code, and I don't know if you can see this in your video or not. We'll try to get that close for them to see. It's at the, at the bottom there. There you go. And there's these numbers on there that there's some magical code that tells him how much he paid for that coin. Mm -hmm. Well, we here at Dragon's Horde, we try to set our prices at the time we purchase the coin, not when we're selling the coin. So what we do is we mark it based on what the gray sheet said at the time we purchased the coin. Now, that means that we, in most cases, uh, we purchase the coin using the gray sheet, which is, of course, the most reputable guide out there. It's got the most up-to-date prices. It's re reprinted every month. You can get it in digital format, you can get it in print format, you can get it in downloadable format. Mm -hmm. The best part is that every dealer in the world knows what the book is. Now, the other part of that is, is that we try to use the first line as our line in the sand for the, you know, the baseline where we start with the coin. Now, obviously, if the coin's in better condition, we pay more money for it. Mm -hmm. If the coin is more rare or e more easily sold, we'll pay more. So the easier it is for me to move the coin... Um, the more likely I am to pay a higher premium for it, you know. And then the, the trade-off of that is, is if you bring me something that's ultra, super, duper, duper common, even if the book says it's 10 bucks, I'm probably not going to pay you $5 for it because right. it's super, duper common and everybody in the world's got one and nobody could. I get mint sets, mm -hmm. you know, mint sets and proof sets. There are some of those right now that the book value is $1.85. Well, they have $1.85 in face value in, in that those sets are <laughs> right. like that. And I'm, not gonna, I'm also not going to cheat you and I'm going to pay you less than face for them either. So if it, you know you know if you're coming in here, if our normal buy, buy price is you know 50, 60, 70, 80 percent, depending on what the item is, uh, I have to have a little room to make some money. But let's say for example you bring me a mint set, we usually buy the mint sets at 50 percent. I'm right, right on the thing, unless it affects face value. Mm -hmm. So if it's face value, let's say there's a dollar 85 in coins in that particular mint set, or whatever the number is, and then you know a little bit for the holder, I'll give that to you, even if it means I'm making 15 cents or 10 cents. Um, it, I'm not making any profit on those in reality because right. they sit around forever. As you you can see when you pan past the uh, the mint case, mint and proof set case. You know there are some of those also when you flip that around. For example, some of the prestige sets have twenty three dollars in silver in them right now, and the book value is twenty two fifty. Hmm. 
So I'm not going to look at you and say I'm going to give you half of twenty two fifty. Right. First of all, that would be cheating you because paying you half on something like that when it's got more silver in it. The second thing is when I go to sell the item, most likely, especially if it sits here for two or three months, the price on silver theoretically should grow, and then that, that'd be when I'd be eligible to make a little bit more profit. But if I put a price tag on it based on what the gray sheet says it is, then the customer also has a rough idea of where we're at. Mm -hmm. uh, and if something says a hundred bucks and they offer me ninety five, the thing's going home with them. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to rape anybody over the coals. And All right. To and then you know if if they come in and they're looking for a specific thing, usually we're able to look it up pretty quickly. And there are days when we have you know, five or six customers in here at the same time, and we don't have time to look up the coin. But in most cases, if somebody wants something, like, for example. Yeah, we're supposed to. I'm going to slide this forward. So this is an 1853 with arrows and rays. Uh, it's uh, circulated. I'd say it's about, uh, I'd put it about a 30, 35. So let's see if we can find a value for you on this and see what the book says, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I don't know who priced this one. That, does, that looks like maybe Matt Payne's writing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who it is. So 1853 arrows, um, yeah, and I gotta go here to Seated Liberty. Get to the right date. I was on the wrong page because I was blathering. Have on. you have you pulled up your? Are you looking at what we need in our typeset? Yeah, but there, we bought some stuff that I don't know if I took it off the list. Yeah, we haven't bought that much for the typeset lately. So. I mean, the typeset's been sort of sitting idle. For a so while. to give you an idea, this one. Um, Apparently, and I said it was about a 35, whoever priced this one probably thought it might have graded as a 40. They've got it priced as if it were a 40, uh, which means that he probably bought it a little bit a little bit back of that. Um, my guess is that we probably pay the neighborhood of about half of what we believed it to be. So if he believes it's a, an XF40 and the book says it's 125, we've probably paid 60 or $65 for that coin. Okay. So, um, you know, give you an idea. That's kind of how our pricing works. Um, so what are you selling that to me for? Uh, give me $10 over what I paid for it. So call it 75 Okay, but let me price these other two. Sure, sure. Only because you tell me which one of these three is the rarer. Well, and that would... those two are the same. Right. So they're the same coin, but different... Different conditions. Different dates and different conditions. Different dates and different conditions. This one's got a little bit more breast and, and better liberty showing, but it's definitely been wiped off at some point in time. Uh, so no, one of those looks suspect. Laundry, yeah, well, one of those looks suspect clean to me. Yeah, which would be one the, I have in my hand. Yeah, right? not the arrows one. Well, or is it, it the, arrow, is, the arrows? Ah, oh, you got the arrows. Yeah, it is, and it looks like whoever priced this one believed the same thing. Actually, that looks kind of like uh, that. Definitely, it's not. Yeah. So this one is uh, also the 53 uh, arrows and rays, and they have this one priced as if it were cleaned. And I, I think they probably made a mistake on this one, but uh, oh, let's, I would say let's do that one at about 50 bucks. And then this one is the 1876, which is not a key date, key year. It's later, later on, uh, it's two thirds past the, the time frame. Uh, 76s, 76s. So first line on 76s. First line's 20 bucks. So uh, how about uh, 18 dollars on that one? Well, that's the difference. I mean, which one? I mean, the arrows sounded like the arrows ones are at least the particular date we have. Are both these arrows? Those they are both the same date. That one's in better condition than the other. One's not been altered in any way you know the other one looks like it's been i think probably looks to me like laundry clean like somebody had in their pocket and got washed at some point mm. in time. or it doesn't look like it's been wiped so to speak but it definitely has had something done to make it look well i tell you what we're we're trying to go on the cheap right now i'm going to pass up the raise i'll take that 18 dollar one okay is that what you said it was 18 yeah i'll take 18 for it. and we'll put that one on the stack it's a whole filler for now you know and i may I, I don't know what the book calls for the book the typeset may call for ones with arrows too and if it does, that show, you, sure. know, you know where they're at. So. What are you letting me look at? We're looking at quarters. Cap bust 18. No, that's not the right one. Arrows and motto. It does call for both. Calls for no model, arrows, yeah. and motto. Oh, well, then, okay. We're not done, but let me. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to pass on these two. I'm trying to stack with the budget somewhat. So. All right, where do we go to next? I don't know. You're, you're, is driving, there next? you're driving the boat. I'm just riding along. I don't know. I'm waiting to see if anything else is catching Winning's eye. I mean, you see, yeah, we haven't no. even showed really, huh? What? 
No. 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 <laughs> oh, we, she's we, looking at the Lafayette dollar again. She's got the horse on it. Yep. Everybody, but it's way too much. I didn't say I'd sell it to you for that price. That's just the price tag tag that that the book has on that one. I know, but that's still way too much. Oh, okay. You do realize what the first line on on the Lafayette dollar is, right? No. Go ahead and look it up. Like two eighty five. Ouch. Yeah. No, it's just an expensive. Coin. It is. They are not cheap. And it's nice. She's dying because of that horse on it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. She's a sucker for horses. What did, I know what, I know exactly what I paid for that one, so. What um what did you find out regarding no dates to fill the Franklin? You came upon no dates? I found to fill those one. One? That was in All right. the book. And and you've got four other ones over there yeah, to make up that book and you've already given our five in this, so that's all that okay. All right, so we're even on that. Um is there anything that has escaped me so far? Well, I don't know. I don't know what you've dug through. I don't even know if you came back here and looked around on the back counters either. I, did. I, I can just, do that. Sure, go ahead. I guess I could just leave the camera set up right here and I can... Yeah. You can come back here and look oh, around. That's a long walk. I know. A, you, how, do I, how do you think I get my Fitbit steps I'll in for the day? I'll be five minutes, gang. <laughs> Probably take that long to get there and around. Hey, while you're walking past the cooler, would you mind grabbing me a fruit punch? What do, you, what do you want? Uh, fruit punch on the right-hand side, bottom shelf, please. I know I'm so darn demanding, but he's walking right by the cooler. <clears throat> Not a whole lot of my customers do I let come back here. It's usually only my friends. What does that no, say? I was going to say. I, this what, is, what, is, what does that say about you? I just, I'm a friend. There you go. Feel free to look around. There's stuff back on You can look at anything on my desk, too. Just don't make fun of anything. I got messes everywhere. That's the problem. You got a lot of steel scents. Yeah, and, and uh, four buckets of unsearched wheat scents right now, each one containing about 15,000 coins. Oh, gosh. You would probably have a lot of people that are in YouTube land that would be in love with that. Yeah, I got, I mean, I've also got two monster boxes of, of wheat scents there, those 25-count boxes, $25 boxes, and three trays back there. There's a couple trays here, which, and the lady just... This group over here, she literally just stuck them in there. We had one box that was a whole tube of 09s. These are Vegas. 09s. Vegas but not. Coins, aren't they? A whole tube of 1909 Lincoln head pennies. Right, but they weren't 09s. No. Oh, again, here's one of them fancy boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, we'll, we'll, we can wave that for the camera. Yeah. There's another example. You know, this has got a, a big old fat dollar twenty five in it. But the box is real pretty. And people pay dumb, dumb money for these. And I, I don't mean to boxes. belittle people for buying things. No. But the reality is, is that most of the time when you bought a box like this, unless somebody bought it for you as a gift, it's... you probably paid too much for it. Because well, of... I mean, and that's the whole thing, though, is that by educating maybe somebody out there who might be watching this video, they know now that, you know, maybe don't pay for the... Well, and I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm saying just remember that you're not going to get the value right away. If you hang on to this for 30 years like any other numismatics... Right. You know, think about it this way. A 1932 quarter right now, the plain 32 quarter is based on the silver value, but you get the 32S and the 32D and you've got more than silver value. The same thing can be said for these. In, in 30 years, you know, the 2000s that are in here might, uh, you know, a 2030 at that point in time, of course, you know, mm -hmm. it, it adds up. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. What is, uh, why is that just saying, is it, they're saying it's cleaned? It says it's uh, PCGS genuine. genuine. It's not, they say not gradable. Now, that, that could mean clean, clean, could mean surface altered, could mean questionable. But the bottom line is they're saying they've certified it as genuine. genuine. Or, or I have had some of these come through that were uh, grading clean. samples. Uh, things that they that somebody sent them in and got them graded uh, as their free coin, but didn't pay anything additional. Oh, right, right, they didn't. Yeah. They, did, they they paid it for attribution and and authentication, but not for uh, grading. It could also be. And, and I'm I'm not an expert on that because I've seen so many different things. But you know, and, and the things that I'm real clear on, I'll say that I've seen several examples of a coin come back as not gradable. None of them that I've sent in have been that way. But uh, I've had a lot of them come in the doors that have had. I've had them come in to say sample, mm -hmm. which is literally where PCGS and NGC slabbed up some coins and then passed them out as a promo. I've seen them come back as genuine, not gradable, 
And when you look it up, the details on there tells you, sometimes it tells you details why, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on whether or not the person who submitted that coin uh, did that. And we could probably could type that in and look at it and see what it comes up as, but it will probably tell you why it wasn't gradable. And it might have been just as simple as somebody didn't pay for grading. It might also be that it's, usually when it's cleaned though, they put the word cleaned on there. Right. This uh, foreign server you got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a 63. I know. Mm. It's flashy, though. Oh, it is. It's a flashy. You think about Midget Stacker? It would be nice if she got at least one of her foreign coins actually had some silver in it, because when we were down there, she didn't have any. Real silver? Yeah, I mean, what are we selling this? Is this what, what kind of silver percentage are we looking at in here? Just, Those all vary. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Some of them are anywhere from 10% up to 90%. I like this one here. Show that Look one. Look at the back of that one. It's busy. Yes, it is. Very what is this one from? Yeah, I'll have to see it when you're done. I don't know where you got this from. I think that was in the... This I one? Don't know. It didn't matter. No, it was in the foreign coin. None of that stuff was in here. Go out for sale. So. Yeah. I don't know which way this thing All right, did goes. I, did I not see a trime on here? Yes, there's two of them. Oh, they're in here. Is mm -hmm. it, do you have a silver trime right or are they both the no, uh, those nickels? Are, those are both the nickel. All right, I've got a decent looking nickel trime already. I'm still mm -hmm. looking for an upgrade silver trime. Uh, right. I know those can get pretty salty. If they can. Good, if they're in good condition, which, you know, I'm looking for an upgrade of mine, so I would want it in better condition, so I'm not going to pay a little bit more for that trime. There's this time. two of them. Right, I don't need the, I don't need the nickel trimes. <clears throat> oh, you wanted the... No, he doesn't have a silver trime. Oh. So I don't, I don't need the nickels. He did have one Morgan in this. One Morgan? Yeah. What is it? It's... 1887 Philly plane. We got it. Oh, I know that. I'm sure of it. 1887. Well, I'm not trying to get duplicate. I'm going to walk back around because I think I've scurried enough around here, my friend. Well, there's two things on the floor. <laughs> there's things everywhere back there's here. There's things on the floor. <laughs> He's scrounging on the floor now. He's scrounging on the floor. Oh, you get to scrounge under the desk, you'll find silver quarters. I'm already now. looking at some of your cabinets. I you know. got a dime loose here and there. And I know. They get dropped throughout the day, and then about once a week, I come up here, clean it all up, and put it all away. And then over the course of the week, they get kind of disheveled a little bit. That's the downside of, of having a busy business is that we don't really get time to keep things quite as organized as we'd like. Oh, he got in some pocket watches, too. Yep, and there's a couple that are coin silver and one that's uh, gold. We've got a bunch of jewelry too, gold and silver jewelry. Well, you know, there's been nothing that said that we have to spend our entire 1K here. We can always oh, save. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, I bet you do. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, though, that if we were to save some back, that we would just have some for the next time that things hit me. You know what I mean? I mean... Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm after specific things. Was mostly after candies. Was mostly after I wanted that Benji book, just so that we can get one done. Is that a Booker T. Washington? Mm -hmm. It is. So I guess my next question were to come down to is: I see you have a handful of eagles there. Mm -hmm. Now we work on to number huh, twenty-two. Start putting a dent on that one. What are you selling your eagles for? Unfortunately, I have a little bit too much tied up in eagles right now. Okay. So I can't wiggle a whole lot on them. Um, and I have quite a heavy demand for them. I could let them go, you know, for a little bit over what I paid for them. Um, these guys, this stack and this stack are walk-ins. And uh, we would have paid for those about 18.61 a piece. So, you know, I'd, I'd take 19 on those guys. These guys came from tubes, and I ordered them, and I paid way too much. I can't pay less than $23 on those guys. So I don't, and I'm not saying I don't want to sell them to you. I'm just no. saying that that's where I'm at. And you can see what I've got them priced for the general public. Well, I mean, $19 is a heck of a deal. How many of you got them? Got for 19? Is it that stack and that stack right there? Yeah, these two here are the only ones I have that I could do 19 on. So that, that stack and that stack. Yeah. Pull them out. Let me, let, me, let me decide how much you've got and everything else, and I'll get a tally off you and see if I can't. Well, it almost looks like you might have enough for a darn tube. One, two, five. Five at 19. Yeah, mark me down on that one. 
Those are pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. My various edges are various nice. dates again, which I keep telling everyone on YouTube how my dates are just so random here. You gotta show them. You can't just put them in the corner. These are 2005s. I think, and then the one in the flip here is the 2016. I can't tell. What does it say? I don't have my glasses on right now. It's a 2006. All right, we want those five. And then you said that you were going to let the other ones go for 23? Is that what you said? Yeah. How many of those you got? Is that that whole pile there? And then what's in front? Is that the same thing? Yeah. These are all the same. Let's see how many we got here. Well, I was hoping there'd be 15 here. You know that, right? No, I don't know how many are there. Three, four, five, six, seven, wait. I lost count. <laughs> it's late. I worked already today myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. She's got 14 here. 14 in these five. I'll be one eagle short from another tube. Oh, my God. You're going to be. It's going to kill me. OCD is going to kick in. There's not another eagle just happened to laying around here. <laughs> Only those W's. Yeah, only those W proofs, right? Mm hmm Yeah, they're not going to sell those to me for... 25 25 I can't... See, here's my problem. I want to be able to take one of those proofs out and just tube it up because I know it's a proof and I don't want to bang it up against <laughs> anything else. No, I, would, I just... I understand. You know where I'm coming from there. I understand. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to be one eagle shy. Okay, so what's the 14 times 23 do for me? Okay, now I'm going, I'm going to have to get the calculator out. Hold on one second. And I swear, I thought I brought my phone over here. Didn't I carry it over here? Five. I did. There it is. See? I'm going to call you. <laughs> I'm suffering for them from the dump, 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 dump. Five, ten. Nineteen. A total of nineteen, but fifteen of them at the... Ugh. Or one shy. Can you believe that? Well, he can find one somewhere. <laughs> he already has. He said he'd give me one of those proofs, but I can't take a proof out and just stick it in the tube. I just can't do that. I mean, I could, but I don't know how I'd sleep at night knowing that that proof's inside that tube. I'd, I'd wrestle. I'd, I would not get very good sleep knowing that a proof's sitting in my tube. A W proof at that. Oh. <laughs> So your 14 at 23 comes to 322, and your 5 at 19 is 95. Okay, what's that put me out in total? Because $11,204.11. Oh, wow, gee, well, that's it. I'm, I'm no, just kidding. Not Jeez. happening. All right. Put my little pile that I'm getting so far. I'm probably nearing the end, actually. All right, there's what I'm getting. One of the tubes was an O tube, so eight eighty one fifty right now. Eight eighty one fifty. Uh, winning was asking about this little this little uh -huh. uh, cute Arabic coin. Yeah. And uh, without looking it up, it's I believe nineteen. Uh, I believe it's nineteen o nine to nineteen twenty. But uh, I'm not going to look up the silver content. I'm going to tell you to. Send that to your little friend and get her to get excited about new. Oh, she will. Silver. Midget stacker. A freebie Arabic? from a freebie from my LCS, my local coin shop, to you. Courtesy. She's eleven years old. She's eleven years old, midget stacker, and this will just please the heck out of her. Because I'm already gonna have to mail out to Steve Rice, so this can just be included for midget stacker. Here you go, midget stacker. This is where we bought it from. It will soon be in your hands. Boy, that's got a weird. Mm -hmm. It's got a unique weird edge, edge on that I actually thought thing. about turning that one into a ring at one point in time. That is just odd. Yeah, there, there was another one that... Most like you want to think two the... coins have been stuck together. Oh, oh, I was going to show you that fun, uh, that, that fun uh, coin that someone tried to, or was playing with. I'm going to see which, which tray it got in. We had, uh, in, in, there were a couple of fun things that someone has tried to do, and she, she admitted it, that it was a possibility that it might have been their family member. Um, is it something yeah. similar to those magic coins that they yes. had for Kennedy's where you break it open and 
I've seen some stuff out there in the YouTube world about that. Well, and I thought I had it in the one of these watch. trays I was going to cool. get from this collection. Uh -huh, I showed them. Oh, you already showed them? Yeah. That's pretty cool. If you can't find it now, it's no big deal. Well, it, it's a, a nickel. There's two nickels that they shaved down and were trying to put together to a two-headed nickel. Mm. And, uh... Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, they, uh, we, you know, we discovered it was in one of the boxes. And uh, I thought I put it in that tray up there, but now maybe I didn't. Well, you're getting most of my 1K tonight. Yeah. You did a pretty good job. I did not think that I was going to walk out of here with more than just the two B Eagles you owed me. So that's a, well, you know. that's a, you know what? That literally leaves me at three tubes and one coin. I'm so close. I can taste victory on that. You can taste victory. I can, I can, I can't wait till I'm done with it because there's a couple uh, stackers out there in the community that just literally finished their monster boxes mm -hmm. right before the ha pandemic hit, which, oh gosh, they're so lucky to have been able to do that when they did, you know? I was not near, I wasn't close at that time, so it wasn't going to happen for me, but it's happening now. It's getting close. What kind of nickel was it? Uh, it's a Jefferson nickel, and okay. it, there's two of them where they've taken the obverse off. Of the the third of obverse, the reverse. They're over there searching. I could... It over you know there, what I, I mean? I may, I may have put it up in the. We have a box of counterfeit stuff. I was going to get your hands in there. You don't want to go back out into the coin world and somebody get tricked by it. I may have put it up here. Nope, these are these are really fun to come to this shop when he just recently buys some coin collections off people, and I literally have the first dabs on it all. You, on quite regularly, you get you get first dibs I get on first stuff. dabs on this stuff over here. So he calls me up right away. Yeah, you made my night at work a lot longer, by the way, because I knew I was coming over here, and I hadn't even started yet. And I was like, oh man, I gotta make it through the whole whole racing car before I can get over there. I was wishing each race to go as quickly as I can. Of course, it never did. It only got longer. Well, you know that's. Uh... Because they, because then they knew where I was going afterwards. They're like he's excited. Yeah. We're gonna keep him here longer. You know, if you can't find it, we'll just we'll do it another day. If you happen to come upon it when you search down on this stuff a little bit more. It'll turn up. It's got to be here somewhere. It was in it was in a, a two two piece clip like it was in one of these. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was the two nickel pieces. And. Uh, well, this thing's an hour long, which is about as about as long as I like my premieres. So I'm going to wrap it up for them. At least, <laughs> at least, uh, what was it, 881 for, not yep. these two. Those two aren't mine, but these are. We got a few. Let's go over it real quick. Ooh. For 881, I'm getting that, what, Liberty Seated Quarter, mm -hmm. the Half Penny. This is for Steve Rice, his MacArthur, and his Stone Mountain. Freebie for Midget Stacker. We bought a whole book worth of Franklin House. There are still a few dates missing, but we've got plenty of Benjis at home, and hopefully we can do the rest of the damage to this album. You sold that and to me not, for... shoot me a text. 175 and... Oh, about what dates I'm missing? Yeah, about what yeah. dates I'm missing, and we'll hook you up with that. The remainder of what we paid for the book, even though they're duplicates. And then, of course, I got my one roll of eagles that he had owed me, and I bought 19 more. And then basically two rolls of 90%. One's a full roll of Kennedy. One is 15 Kennedys and I think five Benjis in here. Did you already put the five Benjis in here? You did. Okay, cool. All right. There's 881.50. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.